Hello and welcome to ProjectWise Administrator Fundamentals Accreditation Course. Working with ProjectWise documents. In this lesson, we will learn the different methods to open and work with ProjectWise documents. We can double click or we can use the open with command to open the document. If we are not editing the document, we can open the document as read only or view. We will learn the difference between check-in, update server copy, as well as the free commands. We will learn how the program associations can be set by users as well as setting by administrator. ProjectWise is very similar to Windows Explorer or File Explorer in the sense that when we double click on a document, it will use the associated application to open the document for editing. For example, if we double click on the DGN document, it will launch MicroStation. If we double click on the Excel document, it will launch Excel. ProjectWise gives us a better user experience because prior double clicking on the document, we can refer to the first icon next to the document to see if it's available for editing. Remember in ProjectWise, a document can only be edited by a user at any single point of time. If we double click on a document which has a padlock next to it, that means another ProjectWise team member is working on it and we will only be able to view but not edit the document until the lock releases and a pencil icon appear next to the document. Since I don't want to view this document at this time, so I'll go ahead and click no. Let's go ahead and double click on a document which has a pencil icon next to it because we know it's available for editing. There are two things that happen when we double click on a document. Firstly, it will open the associated application in this case, it will be Excel. Let's switch back to ProjectWise Explorer for a minute. The second thing it does is it marks the document with a red check, meaning that we are checking out and working on this document. Another ProjectWise team member cannot view any document changes that we are about to make or even edit the document until we release the red check from the document. Let's go back to Excel. We can edit the Excel document just like we normally do. We can also save the document as well. Bear in mind though, at this stage, we are only saving a local copy in the nominated project-wise working directory. It's usually on our workstation. At this time, ProjectWise has not received any document changes. When we close or exit the Excel application, we see a check-in dialog. I want to take a few minutes to explain the different buttons that we see in this dialog box. If we finish making changes to the document and we want to send the changes back to ProjectWise, then we can click check-in. If we want to continue to make changes to the Excel document, but still send the changes back to ProjectWise, then we can select Update Server Copy. To discard any changes that we have made so far, we can click on Free. I always refer this as Undo Checkout. Click Cancel to simply close the check-in dialog box. If the changes that we make and we want to overwrite and replace the original document, then do not enable the create new version during check-in. However, if we do want to preserve the original document as well as keeping changes that we make so far, enable the toggle create new version during check-in. And since I want to overwrite and replace the original document, uncheck the create new version during check-in. 
The second tab in the check-in dialog allow us to enter details with the changes that we have made to the document. For example, address has been added to the Excel document. This information will be stored in the document audit trail. I want to go ahead and click cancel to simply just close the check-in dialog box. Now we are back to project-wise and the document is still check out to us. And if we need to continue to work on it later on, we simply can just double click on it. Since there are many buttons that display in the check-in dialog box, I want to use this PowerPoint slide to give us a summary of what we just discussed. Basically, there are only two buttons that will push the information and the changes back to project-wise. The check-in button. When we have complete making changes to the document, the red check mark will be released from the document and it will now be available for other users to edit the document. The update server copy button. If we want to continue to make changes to the document and have project-wise to receive the changes that we have made so far, the main difference when comparing the check-in is that this does not release the check mark. Another project-wise team member will continue to see the padlock next to the document. This is a good option because other team members can continue to see latest updates while we continue to work on the document. The free button. The check mark next to the document will be released and no changes will be pushed back to project-wise. The cancel button. It simply just closes the check-in dialog box. No changes will be pushed back to project-wise and the changes still stay locally on our workstation. When we see a project-wise document with a red check mark next to it, and in this case, it's the Excel document that we have been working on. Since the Excel application has already been closed and the check-in dialog box has also been dismissed, we can always right mouse click on the document and either update server copy or check in or even free the document. So let's go ahead and check in the document and hit OK. So we have just seen how double clicking a project-wise document, regardless if it's a PDF or Excel, it will lock the document and prevent other team members from editing it. If we only need to view the document, we can either select the document and right mouse click, open as read only, or view. These two commands will still launch the associated application, but it does not lock the document. And remember, if you have no intention of modifying the document, you can always use the photo preview tab on the preview pane. Now there is another option that we can try. We can change the default behavior for the double click action. To do so, we can go to the menu bar, Tools, Options, and then Settings tab, Document List, Double Click Action. Currently, it is setting to default, meaning that when we have the permission to modify the document, if we double click on it, it will lock the document. So we are going to change that behavior. Double clicking on it, we can choose either to open it as read-only or view the document. It is exactly the same. So let's go ahead and select view and then hit OK. So moving forward, whenever we double click on a document, it will always open the document as read-only and it will not lock the document. So we have just learned when we double click on a project-wise document, it will just open it. But what if we have multiple applications installed that can open the same type of document and we want to be able to choose the application to open it. For instance, a DGN document. 
We know that it can be open using microstation, open roads designer, or even open rail. As long as these applications are installed locally, we can choose the application to open by right mouse click on the document and then open with. This list that you see here, it has to be either configured ahead of time by ProjectWise Administrator, or we have previously chosen the preferred application to open the document with. If we want to use OpenRail to open this DGN document and we don't see the OpenRail on the list, we can simply click on the Browse button and select Open Rail, and then hit OK. Moving forward, if we want the Open Rail to always be the application to open DGN document, we can always enable the toggle, always use this program, and then hit OK. As a ProjectWise user, we can choose the type of applications we want to use to open ProjectWise documents. So let's see how that can be done. From the ProjectWise menu, select Tools, Associations, Programs. From the drop-down list, select User Associations. With ProjectWise DGN documents, it has been assigned with MicroStation. So let's scroll down and look for MicroStation, expand it, and we will see three possible install programs that can open DGN documents. If there is another program that we install locally and we want to use it to open the DGN document, we can right mouse click on the open and add association. Here, we can choose the program that we want to use to open the DGN document. For now, let's just go ahead and hit cancel. The list that we see here is exactly the same as the list that we saw in the Open With dialog. Also, previously, we have set Open Rail Designer to be the default program to open DGN documents. At this time, we can change the default program. For example, after all, we want MicroStation to be the default program to open DGN documents. We can simply select MicroStation, right mouse click, and then select Set as Default. If, for some reason, we no longer want the Open With dialog to show the Open Rail Designer application, we can right mouse click on the Open Rail Designer and unassociate. From now on, when we see the Open With dialog, we only see two applications that we can choose to open the DGN documents. One being MicroStation, and the other one is the Open Rose Designer. Let's go ahead and hit OK. And by the way, what we just changed, it only applies to our user profile. It does not affect any other ProjectWise users at all. Next, we are going to go through how ProjectWise administrators can configure the applications and then it will affect all ProjectWise users. ProjectWise administrators can use a separate program to configure the most common applications for users to open ProjectWise documents. For instance, with the DJN documents, administrators can go to the applications and then open the MicroStation window. Then go to the Actions tab. Here, users will see the two programs, MicroStation and the Open Roads Designer being displayed when users select a DGN document and choose the Open With. Administrators decided that since most users also have the Open Rail Designer program installed, so he will create an extra entry for the users to choose from. So the administrator will need to click on the Create button. In the program description, just enter the Open Rail Designer. Then in the program class name, choose Open Rail Designer Program, and then click OK. So once this is done, 
when the user select the DGN document and choose open with, the user will be able to see three programs that they can choose from. Bentley MicroStation, Open Roads Designer, as well as Open Rail Designer. And the default program to open the DGN documents is Bentley MicroStation because it has a symbol next to the Bentley MicroStation. Now that we know users can choose their own programs to open project-wise documents, and from time to time, administrators may hear some users complain that they can't get the right program to open project-wise documents. After troubleshooting for a while, and we can't find the root cause to the problem, here's a great tip for the project-wise administrators out there. You can use a separate program and go to the user that has this problem and right mouse click, delete program associations defined by the user. Doing so, it will reset and remove the program associations that the user has individually set. During this lesson, we have learned the different methods to open and work with project-wise documents. We also learned the difference between check-in, update server copy, as well as the free commands. We also learned how program associations can be set by users as well as administrators. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.